ทานสู่กีปรปรงกรอมเมฆีกรอกนี้จองบานเสยตายปีเซมิมชาเตอหายเดวีหลอกนี่ปีลอนาลบเอ้ยสไตโอนมิมชาเตอหายมีนสองคำลายชูกาโรอบแตกนุ่งรอบเชียโทรนิยมเชียดารา t วีกัมพูชีกาได้โรยเตอหายออกกาเอ้ยเนื้อตายกระโอบIn the same poll, like in the same poll, uh, simple um, scenario, like let's say that um, for the ether, like now it's 300 hundred something, and then mm-hmm. the more believing that ether we're gonna go up, you don't wanna lose your ether, mm-hmm. but you still need them uh, to buy or to sh- to to, uh, like to buy the other cryptocurrency, mm-hmm. not to lose your. Uh, either then you put either as a collateral, mm-hmm. borrow some die and mm-hmm. put it into the exchange and buy the other mm-hmm. first. That's like right. That. That's right. Yeah. yeah. And the the how about the the interest rate? Have you uh, have you calculated like do the different it from the existing financial institution? Yeah, yeah. Crypto interest rates or DeFi interest rates are better than centralized finance uh, interest rates right now. Um, like the last check I saw, like typically you're not going to see anything, at least generally around the world, you're not going to see anything more than three percent. Perhaps you'll see that in you'll see that in Cambodia, maybe with Khmer r e a l but typically in like U.S. dollar accounts, you're not going to see anything higher than three uh, percent in banks. Uh, but in decentralized finance, uh, you can get um, like for just p- for pure interest rates, that is. Um, For um, for lending, so let's say you want to lend um, some money, as in 
you want to um, provide liquidity to a, to a, to a, to a, to a pool. Uh, I think with I think I saw because I, I checked it before I came there just because I'm not, I was curious and it was uh, something like fourteen percent over for a year, which is pretty good with DYDA, there, DYDX, but you have to lock it. I mean, when I say oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. you have to lock it for a year. Um, but then there's a daily rate of, or daily interest, uh, or APR, I should, I should say, uh, where, you, where you don't lock it for a year, but you can, there are the money's available. And I think that's come, that comes up to about 5%, you know. That is so it's still, yeah, it's better. A lot, yeah. And, and you know, so, it, it <laughs> You know, if you if you needed to, you know, if if you had lots of uh, cash, fiat money in the bank, then uh, you could potentially convert that to crypto, uh, put it through the DeFi mechanisms, yep. and take it back out the other side, and you'll have more money, <laughs> <laughs> right? I mean, that's one of the reasons. That's the thing that's driving decentralized finance right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Is the fact that. Um, you can really make your money work for you with, yeah. with DeFi protocols if you know what you're doing. Yes, yes. Um, uh, you can make a lot of money. Yeah. Uh, if, as, as with everything, if you don't know what you're doing, you can lose a lot, a lot of money. And, yes, um, agree. <coughs> disclaimer: I'm not an expert, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I must say that I'm not an expert. Yeah, we will come to the risk yeah. analysis at the end of the <laughs> yeah, session. Yeah. Now. yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, I know, I know of these protocols. I know what's possible, um, but there's. But how to like the best strategies to to use right now? Just as a as a footnote here, um, I couldn't tell you. I, c I could not tell you. The, the strategy, the game is moving all the time. Yes, and yes. this is the area of finance experts. And, and, and typically, what you have is, um, you know, you might have like someone who's really good at finance, who's been working in finance for many many years. Um, but maybe isn't a, a developer or isn't technical. Yes. So they 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 have all these strategies, but they need they need software engineers to, to implement them through That's smart it. contracts or through other APIs. Um, the luckiest ones are developers who are also very good at finance. You know, then they yes, uh, like they, the, 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 the developer who going through like the fintechs. Yeah, they, those that like build some financial product for yeah. the, the client is much much faster understanding. Mm. Yeah. 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 So it's a, it's it's a it's a long uh, it's a lot of work you know and you've got to you got to stay on top of things all the time so you can't just read a blog post from even two three months ago and go oh I'm going to try that because you look you'll look into it or you'll try it and you'll be disappointed like yeah. um, we talked about earlier the comp token yeah. uh, frenzy I think that's over now right it's 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 been and done you know people have made millions from it and uh, now we have to look at something else like the uni token oh, which is yeah which is the new kid on the block right yeah, in terms yeah. of um, governance tokens so uh, yeah it, 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 the point i'm making here is that the the, the landscape is changing all mm -hmm. the time and if you want to make a lot of money from it you need a lot of money to start with you need to be able to ri risk that money yeah and you need to know, know what you're doing i see <laughs> <laughs> okay let's let's just uh let's say like if any people or let's say i am so interesting or want to get involved into the DeFi, how do i get started right good question there's a few websites which um i think i'll, I'll send you the links because i can't remember what's on my head uh, that are but they're, they're platforms that are designed for this exact uh, situation to help people get into DeFi. I guess there's two types of people. Though. There's the people people who already own crypto and people yeah. who don't own crypto. So let's not talk about people who don't own crypto because we talked about that last week, right? Yeah. yeah. So perhaps check out that other, the other video. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that the, the previous video we talked about the blockchain, yeah. about the cryptocurrency, how do we get started, how do we get started to get a yeah. wallet, yeah. Get a, what is that? So let's assume yeah. you followed those steps and you've got yeah, some yeah. Bitcoin. Now yeah. you want to get into DeFi, right? Yeah. Yeah, so that's easy. <laughs> that's easy, much easier, right? Um, you need to uh, have Ethereum. Uh, typically, you need Ethereum. Yeah. Um, of course, someone can give you DAI, or you know. But typically, if you're starting out, uh, you might have uh, already received some Bitcoin, or you might have some Ethereum. And then what you need to do is find a DeFi protocol that that interests you. Now the uh, easiest way is just to go with one of the big common DeFi protocols. Yep. This would be Uniswap, um, uh, Curve, 
um, synthetics, um, balancer, and compound, yeah. and others. But they're, they're the ones that come straight to my head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're the sort of they're the big ones. And uh, so to play it safe, stick with the well-known ones. Don't go with these, you know, anything new because they could be high risk, and you know, they could even be hackers, which is happening all the time. People will steal your money um, if they can. And um, so go with one of those. And then what you do is, of course, you've already got your Ethereum, you've already got the MetaMask wallet. You go to let's say let's say let's just stick with Uniswap for example. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you go to the Uniswap website, and you. Um, connect your MetaMask wallet with the, with the platform, and then you choose where you want to put your Ethereum. And you know, again, this is this is really about research, right? So, yep. at this point, you know, what you're doing is what I was saying earlier. You are making your money work for you using DeFi. That's the whole point of it, really. Yeah, is to make your money work. There's no point in somebody paying you, you know, for example, 100 US dollars, and you keeping it under your pillow. Because in ten years' time, that hundred dollars is not worth a hundred dollars. Yes, you know. Sure. And the same goes really mostly, you know, uh, with with crypto. I would say, at least in the case of, in the sense of, if you gave me, if you gave me one ether, and I just held on to that ether, okay, Ethereum is going to probably go up. Yep. Um, but I'm going to be waiting. You know, I'm going to be yeah. waiting. Okay, it's three hundred and fifty dollars today. Maybe tomorrow it's going to be three hundred and eighty. But maybe in the next week it's going to go back down to three forty. Yeah. So, in that week, I could have put my money in through a DeFi system, through a uh, yield farming or liquidity mining process, thereby making my money work for me and turning that Ethereum much faster into. Two Ethereum, three Ethereum, four Ethereum, the, or, yeah, the yeah, yeah. or the equivalent of, you know? Yeah, yeah. So converting it or, or putting it into an Ethereum DAI liquidity pool, for example, yeah. taking uh, the liquidity uh, pool tokens from Uniswap, which is the Uni token, yeah. um, which I think they give, not for all pools, but for some of them, they give you a token back. That token can then be staked into another pool, which I can see. give you interest. Yeah. You can you get money from the transaction fees what, on whatever pool you've put your money in, and so on and so on and so on. In other words, your money is working for you rather than just being sit, rather than just sitting in a wallet. I see. I see. Yeah. So um, so it's 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 easy. Say technically, it's easy. Just go to Uniswap, connect the MetaMask wallet, choose a pool, deposit, done. Right. But choosing the right strategies, yeah, as yeah. I said before, that's difficult. Yeah, yeah. That is, it's a, it's a minefield. So I would, I would, I would suggest starting off um, small and simple. Yeah. Just stake some of your coins. Just provide liquidity. Just do one thing at a time. Then start to investigate. Okay, well, how can I now join these things together? Because you can, and if you do it right, where you take money from pools and liquidity tokens from one pool and put them into another and stake them here and there and everywhere. It gets complicated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so let me just uh, uh, um, like to stress out the strategy on the DeFi that's like going to deposit it. Hmm. But um, let's uh, come into how would uh, people or how can I choose, how can I audit the best protocol Mm -hmm. Of course, it like anything related, it still involves some risks on it. Mm -hmm. But yeah. uh, I want to minimize, minimal the risks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. How could I? Because there are a bunch of protocol out there now. Like beside from Uniswap, there are a lot of mm, coming really up really. new every like every week, every day. Mm. Uh, other protocol is coming up and always provides uh, competitive uh, rates, yeah. reward, other stuff. Yeah. From your uh, perspective, also yeah. you are like a technical person. Mm -hmm. You still can see all the code because those protocol is open source, right? Yeah. That's yes. Right, yes. Yeah. How how can we trust and uh, on those protocol like before we deposit on our, uh, our crypto on it? Yeah. Okay. So let's say a new protocol enters the market. Let's take for example Sushi Swap, which is fairly new. Yeah. Um, would you put your money in Sushi Swap or not? The answer is yeah. You would basically do what you said. You need to check the protocol. You need to check the um, uh, several things. So the first thing is um, 
go to their website. Now their website is definitely not a, a, an indicator of how safe they are because they can have a beautiful website. Yeah. They can have a very flashy website, very sleek website, but it doesn't mean that they're um, honest or uh, secure. Um, to find out about that, you need to dig into the team. So that's like a, an act of sort of due diligence. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So you check who's behind this. Yeah. You know? Oh, it's this guy and that guy and that girl. Oh yeah, they've and they've done these projects and they're well known in the community and respected. Okay, good tick, good team, right? Next, you want to check their um, smart contracts and check that they've been audited properly yep. by a, re um, a reputable company, so another yep. trusted company, and you want to check their background as well. Um, uh, and then, uh, and then of course, you want to you want to check um, other statistics, I guess, like uh, the uh, liquidity. Um, the, vol the volume, the trading volume of, of the liquidity pools, yeah. uh, and of the product pool. Uh, and there are there are some websites. I think it's DeFi Prime uh, that actually does a review of all of these. Oh, I uh, see. Like it gives them a score. Yeah, and yeah, they, yeah. And they, they score against hundreds of different parameters. Things like how often do they interact on social media? Um, uh, have they had a, an I? EO, you know, if, it, if they got a token, have they oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, in, in, initial, initial exchange offering? Yeah, yeah. An IEO, yeah. Have they done that or not with their coin, if they have a coin, a government's coin? Um, do they have a white paper? Yeah. Uh, and um, uh, and is, it, is it the final version of their white paper or, or is it still ongoing? Um, uh, yeah, you know. Uh, there, so there is a website that I, perhaps I'll send you the link so you yeah, can put yeah, the video yeah. links. Cool. But, um, but yeah, they, they check all these different premises. Uh, so, so I would go there as, as well. Um, and, and I think another thing is to learn from the mistakes of others or look at other examples where people have lost money. And there's, yeah. a, there's a recent story, you may know about it. It's uh, uh, somebody lost $140,000 of uni tokens. So that's the token Uniswap gives when you contribute to their, some of their liquidity pools. Yeah. He staked that in another platform called Unicat. <laughs> right? um, and they took it all. Oh, man. <laughs> and of course, you know, probably a lot of other people staked their money in there too. Yeah. Uh, and so what you've got there is a hacker, probably one or two, maybe, maybe just one person yes. somewhere in the world. I'm not going to discriminate where they may come from, but it's somebody who whipped together a quick smart contract, yeah. a quick website, called it Unicat, said, hey, stake your uni coins and you'll get this, that, and the other. Yeah. People went there, did that, and then he went, thanks, because there was a back door. Because nobody checked his smart contracts. Yeah. So, yeah, be very careful. So, look, read up on those uh, examples. They're, they're worth looking at, they're worth seeing. How, how did that happen? You can probably still see the source code of Unicat, maybe, uh, and you can, you know, you can you yeah. can get the sense of the dangers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's very useful information. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you've been into the Uniswap, right? Sure. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, did I you stay? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. Yeah, and I got I got uh, Uni tokens for it, which yeah. was very nice. I got four hundred. Cool. Them, which, wow. Which uh, last week was worth one and a half thousand dollars. And that was just for, you know, seemingly nothing, right? Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's it, it, it's nice. It's a nice feeling. And of course, people are making hundreds of thousands of dollars, if not millions, right? Yeah. Um, but it was really quite nice when I saw, when I logged into Uniswap and they said, you've been, we've given you 400 Uni tokens, please collect them. And so I just, I just yeah, I just linked my wallet with Uni token and boom, it came in and it's like $1,500. I was like, great, thank you. <laughs> So uh, yeah, uh, but um, I'm not a heavy user of it, right? I, like I say, I'm more I'm more of a technical guy. Yes, yes. Um, I, I, I'm I'm getting into it more and more on the trading and the staking side of things. But uh, you know, it's only I only use money that I can afford to lose, right? Yes. So I'm yeah. not putting in my life savings. I'm not putting in my rent money. <laughs> yeah. I'm just putting in extra little bits of crypto that I have, right? Yeah. I can feel how like the strategy and the safety of you're going to make the decision because yeah for me i yeah. i don't i don't really uh have much responsibility like you got a, a kid <laughs> you yeah. got a wife 
<laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's another story like yeah. how will you play different role of like you don't put your own money. life or you know well being at risk anyway yeah, e yeah. either. So so even if you're an individual without a family to to look after or whatever, yeah. um, you still should be very cautious about uh, you know what you do with your money and um, and of course crypto and DeFi um, is 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 risky. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it is risky, and it's risky for the reasons I just mentioned, and um, as well as uh, things like um, uh, you know protocol changes that might might happen, security issues and smart contracts, um, and then um, bad bad actors, that kind of thing. So, uh, and of course, price drops. I mean, you know, if Ethereum price drops for whatever reason. Uh, it's panic stations on, on DeFi. Yeah, yeah. Right? Because yeah. a lot, not everything, but a lot is backed by yeah. the, the price of Ethereum. Yeah, yes. <laughs> That's why I remember it's like it's this, this this year, so many people will call it like the year of DeFi. Mm. Uh, 2017, the year of ICO. Yeah. Well, what is your thinking about it? Like, it's just like, uh, yeah. It's just like the G of, of the protocol or technology on the, this space. Yeah, yeah. So, so yeah. So I, as you as you know, I wasn't actually really working much in crypto in 2017. Yeah. So um, it was uh, I was busy with other things and I just wasn't wasn't doing anything in crypto. So I, I missed the ICO phase and the buzz and all of that. And actually, looking back on it and and reading more about it. I'm kind of glad I did, <laughs> um, because it was a little bit chaotic um, and a little bit un pro not properly moderated or managed. Yes. You know what I mean. Yes. Whereas, whereas DeFi feels different, at least to me. There's still massive whale loads <laughs> of, yeah. of risk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Massive, massive, massive. But I feel like there is, uh, at the moment, it's a gold rush. So there's a lot of madness happening, a lot of prices going up, a lot of people making lots of money, you know, percent, massive, huge percentage returns going through the roof and all this kind of stuff, um, which is great. And um, but I don't think it's going to last forever. It's got, it's got yeah. to, it's got to. Nothing going to last forever. Yeah, it's got to simmer down. It's got to settle down to something, but it's not going away. Uh, like e ICOs have pretty much gone away, right? You yeah. don't really hear about them anymore. Yeah, it does. Yeah. They were a bit of a mistake, but DeFi is not a mistake. It, yeah. it's going to stay here for the long term, yeah. um, and uh, so it's just it's just we're here right at the very beginning, and it's, that's that's what's really exciting about it. And yeah. um, you know, I, I <coughs> you know, I I think I I mentioned this last time, and when I first started getting into blockchain, you think to yourself, wow, it's got so much potential. You know, it can be used for anything. So then I'm like, well, what should I specialize in? Because I can't, you can't just say I'm a blockchain, you know, expert or whatever. Yeah. Because, because it's everything, right? And yeah. and um, it's like saying, you know, I, I can build any websites. Well, yeah, you, you know, but can you build a website for a hospital management system? Probably not, right? Because unless you've done one before, yeah. right? So that's why I thought I've got to specialize. I've got to focus in something, and I chose DeFi. Um, and I chose it just from for personal reasons, right? yeah, not yeah. not because I thought this is going to be the biggest thing ever yeah. since uh, <laughs> since the web, but it but it is, you know, yeah. it's it's massive. So it's it's great to be part of this. Yeah. So, uh, less. Uh, what do you think DeFi going to be in the future? Like, um, or what do you want to see? What, what? Yeah. What would I like to see? I'd like to I'd like to see DeFi be. Um, used more broadly uh, amongst the community, uh, not just with traders and speculators yeah. uh, and uh, crypto geeks or whatever, but by everyone. Um, the ability to somehow you know, uh, easily bridge fiat to, 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 De to DeFi um, uh, and, and, to, and to really finally you know, be able to maybe go to some uh, decentralized finance Lending protocol and use that to buy a motor, you know, a real world use case, yeah, right. The way that we already, the way that we, well, the way at least that um, the last mile user, you know, the uh, consumer, if you like, uses finance services 
uh, that would be nice to that that would be nice to see. And I think we will see it eventually. You know. Yeah. Um, the question is, how will we see it? Because like, what's happening, of course, is that with DeFi, anyone is now able to play the same games that the banks. Yes, the yes, yes. Bank. You could be a get a, a banker. Yeah. And you could be a borrower. Yeah. 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 And you've got all the tools at your disposal, uh, and then there's there's nothing hidden. Right, it's yeah. not like you know the bank. They you know they do all kinds of magic, and you just don't know what's going on. It's all behind closed doors. <clears throat> um, on DeFi, it's like all the protocols are open. It's all open source. Knock yourself out, but be careful. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's yeah, a pretty yeah. dangerous tool. Yes, yes, um, yes. So, so the thing is, your average high street customer is not going to even want to go there. So there will be companies like banks but probably m more like financial advisors you know and brokers maybe uh, yeah. you know what I mean who will help with these with with the with the interface so yeah you know there'll be shops maybe you know coming up like, like you know maybe you know traditional microfinance firms will turn to the blockchain to will turn to DeFi to help um, <clears throat> to help them with their loan uh, portfolio of loans so yeah cool so thank you so much, uh, Dylan. Yeah. yeah, it's like a pretty useful information about the the DeFi. I I got a chance Pleasure. to talk <laughs> much more about the uh, DeFi because there's not so many people here. Even those you, even those people are specializing on the technical thing and the blockchain and the ground level, they won't be able to differentiate about the DeFi and the existing financial institution. Yeah. So great. I I hope like um. Uh, people could learn it from and they do the diligence on the team or how it. to get started with the, the the DeFi product and protocol out yeah. there. Okay. Yeah, I look forward to seeing what people do with it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, will, will you come in in the next topic? But well, well, maybe not yeah. soon. I will like. Let me know. Let me know. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Let me know. You, uh, you probably need some of the guests. I'm sure. it, like, is there <laughs> anything on your head that you haven't talked about? Uh, or you <coughs> want to bring to the community? Oh yeah. Well yeah. I mean. Of course, DeFi is, is just you know, it's the biggest biggest thing. But I'd love to talk about maybe Substrate, you know, Polkadot one day. Oh, Should that's cool. Because I know yeah. you guys are using it. Yeah, I'd like to. So that we won't only that. just you guys here. We'll talk about it. I, yeah. I want to hear from other people too. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah, exactly. So, you, so my opinion, my thoughts might be quite interesting because yeah. I not I'll be a newbie. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? I just like unwrapping the Polkadot present. Yeah. Maybe we will talk about the uh, interoperational. Yeah, that's Blunt interesting. Yeah, yeah, that's then interesting. Yeah. Uh, Polkadot, DeFi on Polkadot. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Good. Yeah, that'd be interesting. Yeah. yeah. We'll see you cool. next section. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Okay, thank okay. you. <laughs>